Hi guys, so uh, welcome back to lab 10, the last session or the last part, uh, part four, uh, which is experimenting with common gate amplifier. Here is the circuit that we're gonna use in that, in that uh, lab. Okay, so the input here is at the source and the output is at the drain and the gate is just common between them. Okay, so again, we're gonna analyze the circuit first in DC and AC. Uh, so we get numbers with uh, analysis and just compare the numbers that we get from the analysis to the numbers that we get from the measurement. Okay, so we start by the DC analysis. So again, the capacitors will be open circuit. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna have the first equation, which is ID equal to Kn over two. VGS minus V threshold square. Okay. And uh, again, from uh, that loop here, and remember that loop has uh, a voltage called minus VSS. Okay. So we can say the minus five, and the ID is flowing in that way, plus RS plus VRS plus VGS equal to zero. So minus five plus IDRS plus VGS equal to zero. Uh, ID is unknown, VGS is unknown, but RS is known, RS now is five kilo ohms. So ID is equal to uh, VGS uh, plus five, is called minus minus would be plus over five. So uh, 0.2 VGS plus one. Okay, so this is number one. And this is number two. So we're gonna plug one into or two in one. So point two VGS plus one equal to uh, Kn is a uh, uh, over two VGS minus V. Minus, and V threshold is two for that transistor. Gonna multiply by two, so point four VGS plus two equal to 100. 783 VGS square uh, plus uh, four multiplied by uh, this hundred. So it will be, let me check here, uh, 403132 minus 403132 VGS. Okay, so uh, the final equation would be 1783 VGS square minus 402.732 VGS plus 401.132 equal to zero. By solving this equation, this will give us a valid solution, which is VGS equal to 2.11 volt. 2.11 volt. Okay, uh, so we can calculate now ID. ID is equal to Kn over two, VGS minus V threshold square. So everything is known here. So this guy will be uh, 0.61 milliamps, okay? And of course, since we know now VGS, we can determine GM as, we, uh, as okay, is equal to, v, GM is equal to K in VGS minus the threshold without squaring. So this guy will be 11.08 milli ohm minus one. Okay, this is a DC. So now when we run the circuit, we should expecting numbers like this, and we're gonna see something like this really, and that it will be very small. Okay, now the AC analysis, number two, is the AC analysis. So we're gonna draw, uh, here is usually with common gate, it's good to use the other version of the equivalent circuit in which you have one over GM. So you have source, here one over GM, and plus and negative VGS in that direction, it's, uh, from top to down, then you have 
VGS GM here. And here is the drain, here is the gate, and remember all those uh, I is equal to zero. The current that going into the gate is equal to zero. Okay, between the drain and the ground, there is RD. And this is V output at the drain. And between the source and the ground, there is two things. There is RS, basically. And there is R signal, uh, V signal. And our signal here will be parameter. So we're gonna make it zero, then 100 ohms, then uh, 1000 ohm. But we just keep it now as a parameter without, you know, uh, substituting for it. Finally, the gate is just connected to ground. If we look at the circuit, the gate is connected to ground here. Okay, and here is the input. Okay, so VO is equal to VO over VN. VO is uh, minus GM VGS multiplied by RT. So minus GM VGS RD over uh, V input. And V input is the, is, the, is the voltage between the source and the gate. And the voltage between the source and the gate is minus VGS because VGS is the uh, voltage of the gate with, in reference, with reference to the source. So this guy is minus VGS. Minus go is minus VGS with minus VG, uh, VGS. Uh, so this will be GMRD, non-inverting. And here is just a correction. This is basically AV, not, not V0, so not V output, AV. So AV is equal to GMRD. And we can calculate it since we know a GM and we know RD. So GM, uh, so AV equal to uh, 50, 55.4. So we should get something close to this. Now, it's important for common gate in specific to determine the input resistance, so our input. So our input is between the terminals of the input. So our input is equal to, if we look from these two terminals, we look, we find two resistances in parallel. So it will be basically our S parallel one over GM. And usually one over GM is much less than RS, so it's one over GM basically. But we're gonna do it. So GM is known. So for it, let, 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 me, let me check with you. So RS is, in that case, five kilo ohms or 5,000 or five kilo, that's fine. 5,000 or five kilo, let's make it five kilos, okay? Parallel one over GM, one over 11, let's do it. One over 11.8, oh, it's very small. 0 0.09, yeah. Actually, the rest is really zero to something it's very small, okay. Or 5,000 barrel with 90 ohm, you know, 5,000 barrel with 90 ohm. So basically, the, the result should be very close to 90. Let's do it, let's do it now. So 5,000 is a website here that you can calculate through it. The, uh, better resistances, you know, without making any calculation. So 5,000 and 90. So it's 88.41, which is, as I said, approximately one over G. And this is really very small, very small resistance. Very small resistance. That's why GV, our signal now has a very high impact on our overall voltage gain because GV, is equal to AV, our input, over our input plus our signal. So it's equal to 55.4 and our input, which is 88.41 over 88.41 plus our signal. Just imagine that our signal is 10 kilo ohms or even one kilo ohm. So it's more than 10, 10 times uh, the RAR input. So really 
the voltage that actually reaches the part of the signal, the V signal that reaches our input or reaches the amplifier circuit is really small, one one tenth of the of the real input signal, and nine tenth just goes to our signal. Okay, so let's do some calculations here. So let's for first let's put our signal equal to zero. In that case, GV will be equal to EV will be equal to 55.4. Number two, let's put our signal equal to 100 ohm, which is very close to 88. So expecting to be GV is equal about half EV, but let's do it. So uh, let's say uh, 88.41 over 88.41 plus 100 ohm. Yeah, it's 0.47. So GV is actually 0.47 EV. So if we calculate it, you know, this is multiplied by 55.4. It is 25 or 26, approximately 26. Number three, our signal equal to 1000. GV now it's really it will be very small. Let's do it. It's 10 times. Yeah, just so four. So this will be 4.5, only 4.5. Or if we, uh, you know, if we are interested in the ratio itself, it is point, wow, it's point zero 0.08, yeah, point zero 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 eight one EV. Very small. So because of our signal is just one kilo ohm, one kilo, which is, you know, really small. Uh, you know, the amplification has reduced from 55 to 4.5, around 10 times, 11, 11 times smaller. Okay. So let's now review the manual and do the, uh, the experiment ourselves. So, uh, Let's share the other screen. So here is, you know, number four, here is the circuit. Again, the input is at the source, the output is at the drain. Uh, here is, you put the calculations for, uh, for the TC analysis and also the measured values. It will, they will be very close, okay. Uh, here is, uh, is the settings for the CRO. Here is your bot VO versus uh, V input, but since we do it uh, three times, so we're gonna do it three times. So, well, no, that's fine. So just do it here for our signal equal to, so our signal here equal to zero. Okay, just our signal equal to zero. Uh, you calculate here uh, the voltage gain based on the measured output voltages from the CRO, measure again, overall voltage gain, of course, it should be same if our signal is equal to zero and compare it to the uh, theoretical value, which is GMRD. And finally, repeat that when you change our signal to 100 and 1000 ohm, okay? And both here is, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the measurement, the new measurement at our signal equal to 100 and our signal equal to 1000. And here is a question, very small question, why uh, AV reduced, or let's say GV reduced, not AV, GV reduced. And here's GV as well, because AV will still the same, yeah. Why GV reduced when our signal in is increasing or increased, okay? Now let's do uh, the measurement. I have it already here, but let's see. Yeah. So here is, you know, after running the circuit, a VDC is 2.11. This is a VD. We are not interested in VD. We are in VGS now. Yeah, so VG, V gate is zero, but VS is minus 2.11. So VGS is zero minus minus 2.11. It's positive 2.11, which is exactly the same as the values that we get from our analysis. ID is uh, 0.579, which is around 0.58. And uh, the value that we get is around 0.61. Let's check it again together now. Uh, yeah, 0.61, yeah. Okay. 
Uh, and as you see here, our signal is equal to zero. So here is, you know, the output. So let's measure the amplification. The output is in the cyan color here. As you see, it's very big. Should be 55. So put this as a minimum. Yeah, 1.06. So, so the output is 1.06. And the input should be 20 millivolt, but let's do it. Yeah, 19.71. Of course, it's approximately 20 because our signal is zero in that case. So uh, if we do the, yeah, this is in milli, it will be 1060. Yeah, so 53.78, this is the measured. So this is, uh, is, is a EV measured, 53.78, while we get it at 55.4. So there is two, it's a very small error. Maybe one one percent or two percent, something like this. Okay. Uh, okay. Now let's change our signal and check the amplification. So I'm gonna check our signal here. So it's now zero. We'll make it one hundred now, approximately equal to our input, which is very small. Good. So. If we still uh, measuring the input at that point, if you will not change, okay? But we are now uh, more interested in V output over V signal. And V, sig v signal is input, is, as our input is 20 volt, it's 20 millivolt peak to peak or 10 millivolt peak. So we run, DC will not change because we, the capacitor decouples the AC part here from our DC analysis, DC Q point. Now let's check, yeah. The output is reduced because some of the input just goes to uh, our signal. Okay, so if we measure the output, it is. 508, 508.184, 508.184. And the input, remember, in GV, we just invested in V signal input, which is 20 millivolt to be to be. It's 25. So 508.184 uh, divided by 20 which is the input signal big to big is 25.4, while we were expecting 26, which is close. Now, the last step is to make this 1000. And let's run, again, the DC doesn't change. And it shouldn't change. Now we're gonna increase a little bit the amplitude because it's now very small. Okay, now the output is 89.545, 89.545, and the input is still 20 millivolts. So this will give us 4.47 while we were expecting 4.5. So we're very close to that. Okay, guys. So this is basically uh, the common gate amplifier. We checked now in this experiment is the effect of its low input assistance. Now it's more sensitive, this configuration, amplifier configuration, the common gate is really sensitive to our signal. If our signal is big, the amplification will be reduced. Okay? Okay, thank you very much guys. And you know, have a good day. And I, re I was really happy during this semester teaching you uh, this lab. And I hope you guys get, you know, benefit out of that. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.